When it comes to driving with a disability, the key is to customize your vehicle based on your specific needs. My functional movement limits me to driving a vehicle with specific adaptive equipment. When it comes to anybody with a disability, it depends on your functional movement and how you feel comfortable driving. When you're with your instructor, test your options and find out which adaptive equipment works best for you. This might mean testing three or four different ways of driving. The key factor is you need to figure out what you're most comfortable with. If you're comfortable, you're going to be confident and confidence is the most important thing when it comes to being on the road. The car that I'm driving here is adapted with equipment that allows me to not use my fingers to drive. So pretty much I slide my right and left hand in into a three prong system that grips onto my wrist. My right hand ends up steering the car and my left hand ends up being the acceleration and brake. In between my right hand and the steering wheel is a touchpad screen. The touchpad screen controls many of the electronic functions of the vehicle. I'm able to start the car. I'm also able to change gears, put it in drive mode, reverse. You also are able to control the blinkers, the windshield wipers, and any other electronic function of the car. When it comes to driving your first time back on the road, or your first time in general, try to go to an open parking lot or any road system that is completely open of any other vehicles or any pedestrians. After driving with an instructor for the first time since my injury, I realized that I was actually functionally ready to get back on the road. My independence level at this point was subjected to a power wheelchair. To be able to get into a car and to drive on my own would truly bring me to the next step for my independence.